I'll take you through how I made this ready to use thumbnail in two minutes with just kind of three to four prompts right now. Let's go. So the first thing I did is I grabbed this thumbnail, which is from Ali Abdal's thumbnail pack that you can buy online. It's really good. Ali Abdal in general, really good, but kind of irrelevant to this video. The first thing I wanted to do was make him sad. So I said, change this man's expression to desperately sad and remove the text box on the side. And it came back with this. Okay, not mind blowing yet, right? That's not particularly mind blowing. AI can already do that kind of thing. Next thing I said is add well-placed text that says Fiverr is done. Right, that is a little bit harder because for some reason AI just puts text all over the place, whatever. The next thing I did, and this one took a couple of tries of like redoing the prompt, like pro tip in Gemini, if the prompt, if you're not happy with the prompt the first time, you can edit the prompt and get a new result. The next thing I put was add a red dynamic line graph to the background that is going down negatively, but retain the beautiful set background too. It should be visually stunning. And it came back with this, okay? Now I thought actually at this point I could use that, like that's fine but it was just kind of lacking a little bit of a sense of urgency. He looked sad, but he didn't look like, oh my God, I was going for that moment in The Wolf of Wall Street where the stocks all crash and Matthew McConaughey is looking up and he goes, holy f***ing shit. Okay, I was looking for that kind of expression, like it's over type thing. So uh, the next thing I put in was he should be holding his hands up in despair. And maybe we should add the Fiverr logo on fire too. Right, and it came back with this, which I liked everything except the Fiverr logo. So I said, okay, let's remove the Fiverr logo. Right, and this is how I got my finished thumbnail, right, pretty quickly. So you can imagine it worked really well because I was using like an existing thumbnail that was already ready to publish and editing that. I don't know if it would work as well if I was doing something from scratch, but this is like a game changer. This took four minutes and four prompts, okay? Now, if you take a bunch of set, like let's say I took a bunch of pictures of myself in this set, and then I used that to edit and create thumbnails from here, that would work, right? Because that would be this exact same principle and it would just save me so much time and it will save so much money. And I feel like right now, the best thing to do is strategy. Like your skills don't really matter anymore because nobody really needs a workhorse anymore. And if they still do need a workhorse right now, it's a matter of time until they don't. So I would say if you can like learn strategy and top level over minimal skills, like the, like the time consuming skills, you are gonna win. Rather than learning how to design a really good thumbnail, learn what makes a thumbnail really successful, like what gives it a really good click through rate, what makes it visually impactful, what, what makes it scroll stopping. Because the how to do the design part, that is gonna be done suit whereas the reason behind it that's probably going to stick around for longer i do think you know eventually the bus is coming for you as well like even at the strategy level but for now that's the play anyway i hope this video was helpful uh, this is vibe marketing subscribe if it was helpful subscribe if it saved you money subscribe if it saved you time drop a comment uh, below on what you are currently spending on thumbnails how much time are you spending on thumbnails